to speak first about the Caicedo deal. Liverpool getting themselves involved. Rory, uh, talk me through how you see this situation panning out. Uh, to me, it feels like it's going to be... A, I think it'll end up Caicedo at Chelsea, Lavia at Liverpool. And I just don't think Liverpool have got the money to do Caicedo, just based on the way they spend money normally. Uh, it's like that's such a massive deal for them. And I don't know why they'd have waited until now to suddenly spend that cash. Um, like the Premier League starts tomorrow. If you've got the money to spend, you you spend it early if you can. Um, if both of them end up at Chelsea, that's a massive, embarrassing blow for Liverpool. If Lavia and Caicedo end up at Chelsea, that's genuinely shocking for Liverpool. Um, I think Chelsea end up with at least Caicedo. Uh, yeah. And, and Bayern are just going to humiliate themselves again by getting involved. But... <laughs> Bayern Munich. <laughs> All right, let me tell you now, yeah, before, Don goes off, before Don goes off, I've never seen Don type so fast in a group chat ever. As soon as he saw it, actually, as in Monts' words, type like a bad B. Like, honestly, John, I told Monts. I told once already, it's the audacity of Liverpool trying to get involved right now. I know we rattled a few cages last night, obviously coming in for Lavia, a player that we tried to bid 40 million for before any of you guys even tried to come in for him. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is long-standing interest right now. But how I look at it, it doesn't matter if Arsenal, if, if it's not Arsenal, if Liverpool come in and bid. It's, it's Liverpool, rent free by everyone. Liverpool, rent free. Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool don't scare me in any way when it comes to finances. Do you know what I mean? This, this is the, the last club that I'm going to worry about when it comes to, to them trying to outmuscle Chelsea financially for a player that we've been chasing for months on end now. Do you know what I mean? So they can try it, Terry. They can try it. But honestly, financially, when it comes to the fee, I don't think they'll, they'll outmuscle us. When it comes to the wages, they're, they're not going to outmuscle us. And as it stands right now, it, it, in all honesty, in my opinion, I think Casado's kind of, in his head, I, I think he feels he's a, he's a Chelsea player already. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a matter of time now. We just need to slap that money down and just get it, get it done. Do you know what I mean? So I just think right now, Casado again, he's, he's done everything that he needs to do to leave. He prefers the move to Chelsea. We just need to pay up. Liverpool are not going to outmuscle us financially. They can try, but it's, it's not going to happen. Don so how do you I'm feel about? I'm not stressed at about all. Two three weeks ago, we were talking about you paying up for Caicedo, and you said mm. you don't think it's going to go above eighty million. But now you might even. I said eighty five. I said eighty. You might be 80. paying hundred five mm. million for him. Yeah, well, clearly I underestimated Tony Bloom. Do you get it? So if we end up paying, if we end up paying ninety million plus the ten million add-ons that I'm seeing. Then you know this man. This man has obviously got the money that he's. And you are happy because... with that because, on record, mm. you said that you don't think that you should mm. pay over eighty-five for him. Yeah, no, I'm not happy with with paying up to hundred million. Of course not, because ideally I wanted to pay less. <clears throat> but in order to get Casado, like I said, if we have to do it, we have to do it. But my my biggest concern is that we're going to set further precedent going forward when it comes to trying to buy a player that's only banged for a season, and we're trying to pay, you know, trying to get them they're going to end up charging us over over 100 million. So that was my biggest concern, that yes. it's going to set further precedent. But I'm not, I am not. I, I never said like the club should walk away if we can't get less than 100 million. I, I always knew that, that there is a possibility it could happen. But I always said, I think we're still going to get him for, for less than 100 million. If we get him for 100 million, it is where it is. I can't do it. Yeah, you don't care, I'm still, man. Just, I'm still happy either way. No, no, I do care. I still care, you don't bro. Care, man. You don't I don't want to get. I don't want to pay up to 100 million for Casado. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Jermaine, I'm but not like getting said, you. Are you marking? Like or I said, you're serious. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm serious. Doesn't care. It's because we had this conversation. No, 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 I do care. A few weeks ago, and I just knew. In reality, when you sign your players. Us fans, we don't care that much. But how, 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 no, 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 in the yeah. sense, which is what Chelsea did, you're going to overpay. Chelsea could have done this in like 95 million. You might now have to pay 105. And also, if Liverpool mm -hmm. are now offering money up front because they got the money from Saudi Arabia, you might have to do that as well. You might not be yeah. able to fill is the it, hole that Nkunku left. Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool can, can put any of the finances they want in front of us. Like I said, I'm not worried about Liverpool one bit. The only team right now, honestly, that would actually have me a little bit less confident would probably be Arsenal. If Arsenal came in right now trying to hijack it and they said they're willing to put the money up front, looking at what they're doing right now and where they are, I'll be a little bit more concerned. You get it? They're, they're a little bit closer to home. 
But I'm sorry, Liverpool don't. When it comes to finances, they don't scare me one bit, bro. They don't scare me one bit. I think I think, I think Lavio end up at Liverpool, um, and I think we'll, we'll end up getting Casado. We're not gonna get Tyler Adams, uh, Lavio, and Casado because people forget we've only got one game a week. Do you get what I'm trying to say? There's there's not gonna be enough minutes to spread around the team. So it's gonna be it's gonna be two of them. So I think it's gonna be Adams and Casado. Lavio will probably end up still still at Liverpool in my in my opinion. But again, I'm I'm not saying you know it's not my money. Like I'm happy for Chelsea to pay 100 million. I'm not. If we end up paying it, it is where it is. Because I've always said we're not going to walk away. But I've always said I, I still think we're going to pay less than 100 million. But if we end up paying more, I can't do anything about it. it ideally, I wanted to pay less, but we're not going to walk away. So it is where it is. Because I'm tired of Chelsea being bumped. But obviously, Casado signed that new contract. So he's got no control. It, Brighton are holding all the cards, like I've been saying. So it is where it is. We just need to get it done now. We need to get got, it done. I've got, got two theories of Liverpool, right? They're going to go in for him and they go get him. And he's, the per he's actually the perfect player for them. Perfect. I don't want it to happen as a United fan. I don't want to see a complete midfield that allows Trent as well and their back four to have a lot of cover. A lot of cover. It would annoy me. But they can afford it. People are saying that Liverpool are broke. They can't do it. They can. They've got 50-odd million up front straight cash from the Saudis, right? And before you say Liverpool, uh, I mean, Chelsea also did that and they can't afford it. After Mason Mount, you broke even. After that is a bit different and you can go spend mm. whatever you need to spend, right? Which you are going to. I think the Nkunku thing has probably made you a little bit more hesitant. And I think Liverpool have showed their hand potentially, because it's only a verbal offer, by the way. But So I think they can afford him. And it would make sense after only lowballing the, the last offer that they did for Lavia, right? The other theory I have is that FSG are pulling one over Liverpool fans' eyes so they can shut up. And they say, yeah, we are in for him. But then again, if they've done that, then they've shown their hand that they can afford big, big money signings. And that might even, it might be, um, what do they call it? It might backfire them towards the fans as well. Because if you can spend mm. money on that player, sure, you can go out, out there and go get the DM set about yeah. the DM required, right? I, 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 get, I, get what you're, I get what you're saying, Casper. Yeah. I think for me, we've done a lot of legwork on, on Casado. That can't be ignored. Do you know what I mean? As it stands right now, like it's been, it's been reported numerous times from numerous, you know, tier one journalists that Casado wants to move to Chelsea. He's pushing for the move to Chelsea. Not to say that he wouldn't be open to a team like Liverpool or Arsenal, but right now Chelsea is his priority. And we've, like I said, we've done all the legwork. So Chelsea, the owners right now, aren't going to let a team like Liverpool embarrass us when they've been chasing Lavia and Casado has kind of just come out of nowhere. And we've been chasing this guy for months. It's, it's not going to happen. Don, so financially, banking, they're not going to outmuscle us. They're not going to outmuscle us. You're just Sorry. banking on the fact that you will always offer a bigger wage than Liverpool and you will always outbid Liverpool. Financially, this is, they're this not going to league work. Fi financially, they're not going to outmuscle us. The words like word work mean... What, what is the word? Like, the, probably leg, leg, work, leg, work is, leg work is on the player side. We've done all the leg work. Okay, with, great. With, with so selling a project Liverpool to goes now and offer him the same wage as yours. Do you think... I still think you'll come Chelsea. You think he will choose Chelsea? Yes, I still I still think he'll come Chelsea. I think Liverpool right now, they're in a better position to win something, in all honesty. But like I said to Mons earlier, um, Cass, I think that long term, our project is way more attractive than theirs. Their owners are, are, are rubbed, bro. They're finished. I said this earlier. Do you get it? So as much as they can win something right now, Casado, over five years, I think he'll win a lot more at Chelsea than he will at Liverpool. We've got a more attractive project than them right now. So I'm not, I'm not worried about Liverpool. The only team, like I said, that would worry me right now if they're trying to trying to come in, would be would be Arsenal. In all honesty, not Liverpool. Why do you say that? I don't get it. Trent is young. Right. I've Trent just explained young. the reasons. Konat is young. Saboisla is young. McAllister is young. Nunes is young. Okay, Gakko, okay Mo, Mo, would you Diaz. would you tell me would you tell me that Liverpool would you tell me that Liverpool's owners are more ambitious than my owners? Absolutely not. So then why? So then do do you think that players don't look at that when they're being sold a project? They look at the owners and the ambition. About, to be fair, he just cares about. Casado clearly just cares about. Again, one. again, there's many reasons here. Like I've said, like I've said, like I've said, Casado would be open to a move to, to Liverpool. He'll be yeah. open to a move to Arsenal. I'm not saying that he wouldn't because we're all big clubs. But what I'm saying is between Chelsea and between Liverpool, whose owners are more ambitious? Of course, yeah, but he could, he, could question, elevate, but he could ever he could elevate Liverpool though. But whose owners are more ambitious? Next five Listen, years. how long? How long did like it take could, for? How long did Liverpool it take? Hold on, let me just let me just say something. How long did it take for Liverpool to 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 um to to, to replace that expired midfield? How long? How long does it take for Liverpool to um, invest in in certain areas? FSG are the one of the worst owners that we've got in the league, right? Like I said, players will look at that because players want to know that when I come to this club, I'm going to be playing with, with good players and you know owners that are ambitious and want to win stuff. Yeah, Liverpool, but I'm sorry, they're nowhere near us when it comes to ambition. Uh, I'm sorry, you're wrong about that. I, I think, yeah, I was going to quickly add sorry. Um, 
you get your club, your club might be more ambitious and your owners might be more ambitious. That don't right. mean nothing. That don't mean anything. Yeah, it, don't, it, don't mean it, do, it does mean it does mean something. It does mean something. Guess what? Guess what? Yeah. My club owners are not ambitious. As long as they got their dividends at the end of the year, they don't give a damn what happens. Yeah. Right. FSG probably want to run within the means of the club. A Liverpool fans and Liverpool Football Club is way bigger than yours. There's a there's a massive that's, fact that's, not, that's not what we're saying right now, though. Yeah, we're but, talking yeah, about the, we're talking about where we are right now. No matter if you're wallet, your guy, your guy's shown his ambition in his hand. Guess what? Now you need time and patience. Does Kai say they want time and patience now? It might not work. You've got a whole new eleven. Twenty-one, not twenty-six, twenty-seven. Yeah, whole, it, it doesn't matter. The way this guy wants to be, I swear down, he wants to be right to the top straight away. I'm not saying he doesn't want to go to Chelsea. Straight Why would away. you not want to go to Chelsea Football Club? It's a great club. It's in London. Um, actually, it's not that great of a club, but you won trophies and everything that comes alongside it. Liverpool, on the other hand, are a bit more prestigious than your club. Actually, way more, if anything. And I think like it does hold weight still for Liverpool, even though the the project at York is just getting started. Liverpool's still got something settled. You add him into that midfield. I think if he adds him, that's showing ambition that they want him to complete a midfield to play with Salah and a new lot as well. That might come with it next season potentially. You, you, you guys, you guys are missing. You guys are you guys are missing the point here. I'm not saying he won't go to, by the way. I'm not saying that. But you're doing it again, Don, which we've done back to before. You did a lot mm. of if and maybes and, and there's no absolutes in none of this. It just shows none is, of this. I've, I've, given, this. I've, given you, I've given you logical reasons as to why we're we'll getting over Liverpool. I just think you guys just don't like my reason. You don't, you don't like my reasoning. That's what it is. I've given you logical because reasons as to why he'll no, pick us wrong. over Liverpool. It's wrong. When it comes how, to how's FSG, it wrong? What's wrong? Because <laughs> you're just talking about the ambition of the ownership and nothing else. FSG have made it, you know, Liverpool have, in the last six years have made it to three Champions League finals, won a Champions League, been in every title race apart from last year. Wait, 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 before you go any further, Rory, let me just ask you a question right now, yeah? Talk about Liverpool's ambition separately. I'm comparing Liverpool's, Liverpool's ambition right now in comparison to the project that we're trying to build right now. Which project is more ambitious? It's a simple question, bro. Who's got a better manager? You're not. You, why are you trying to? Move, why are you trying to change the question? Okay, okay, I'm asking but, you guys a simple question. Can I, can I, answer, it? Can I answer this question? Hang on, hang on, hang on, guys. Let Rory finish, please. Okay, Rory was talking. Okay, this is Rory. Sorry. I, I think you're you're putting too much emphasis on just what ambition is. I I could have the ambition to become the president of the United States. It's not going to happen for a lot of reasons. Like everything else to do with Liverpool, the heritage of the club is bigger. You see, see how you see how you're skipping. Around, you see, you see how you're skipping around. It, that's this, this. This is the thing. I'm not disputing how big Liverpool are as a club. But you're, no one but has you're put saying, Liverpool. No one has put Liverpool that, down. But you're I'm talking that, about our project in comparison to theirs. No, but you're saying it you don't think run. Liverpool let, let, can get the deal done purely because of ambition, as if that is the only factor involved in the entire thing, which just is not true. I said. I said. I, I didn't say that's the only factor. What I've said is we've done a lot of legwork. Financially, Liverpool aren't going to our muscle us. And like I said, right now Liverpool are in a better position to challenge if they make the right signings and to, to win something in comparison to us, because Chelsea are still the unknown. But like I said, football isn't going to end after next season. There's still, there's still a massive, you know, there's still five years to come, 10 years to come. And like I said, what we're trying to build right now and the part that Casado is going to play in the project going forward, in my opinion, is more attractive than what Liverpool can offer. Because my owners have already showed more ambition than FSG have in God knows how many years. Well, so I'm not putting them, ambition. I'm not saying, but, this, yeah, but that's a big factor. You can't ignore that ambition though. Are Arsenal moving ambitious this manager, season? Or blind ambition? Manager, our, manager, our, our, man, our, our manager, our manager, our manager, our manager is a, a good manager. Poch is a rated manager when it comes to football. We've got, a, we've got young, we've got young players who can potentially be, become world class. We've got a yeah, good but, project going on. Chelsea being in London, we're a big club. You know what, Rory's and what I'm trying to do. There's no Liverpool rep here, and I know I'm a United fan, so I'm trying to balance it a little bit. And you're giving your reasons, but we're also giving reasons why he might choose Liverpool, uh, Liverpool as well as much as your club. Because of the pool of Liverpool, because of the size of Liverpool, because of Jurgen Klopp, because he's better than Pochettino, right? I'm not saying you're right, and I'm not mm. saying you're wrong because you're not. Yes, you have a lot of upcoming talent, but there's already a lot of already made talent at Liverpool. And you say next five years, we don't know what's going to happen to Liverpool next five years. It's a lot of if, buts, and maybes and potential again. That's what I'm trying to say. You probably will get Kai said, you've done the legwork and everything, and I'm pretty sure. But to not give them a fair chance at everything, as well as what might my, my way be. It's down to Brian who would they want to accept the bid at the end of the day. Who's but this is the thing though, Cass. This is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not discounting I'm not discounting Liverpool. I've said this already. Casado would be happy to go to Liverpool. He would be happy to go to any of our clubs because Casado just wants to play for a bigger club. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about in the context of what is going on right now. We are up against Liverpool. Well if they put if they put a bid down we're up against Liverpool. And like I said, they're not going to outmuscle us financially and like I said long term in terms of what we can win in comparison to what to the, what what they can win long term. I still believe that we can win win a lot more than them. But right now yes, I think that if they make the right signings, 
they, they're in a better position for them for, for, uh, to win because of the manager and can the I winners mean, that they already not have. Only, can I add something to that, Cass? I'm sorry. You know, on, what, you know what, Caicedo, if he has any footballing brain, which is I believe he has, and there's people around him, Caicedo, if he goes to Chelsea now, he increases your chances of getting Champions League football next year. And I think if he goes to Liverpool now, he elevates them to probably close to Arsenal and Man City. This is the he's gonna look at this as okay. well. He goes to Chelsea, bro. You're not listening to the, the 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 everybody that is telling you you have a lot of potential. But all is hoping that they will get to that. But uh, as of now, Liverpool, Gakpo already already played football like great last year. Salah, Diaz, McAllister, even like I don't know, suppose like Champions League. You have a lot of potential, bro. So you're telling them oh, about projects they have they have the now and probably the near future. You might have okay. the future in the next five, ten years. So so why can't why can't we we'll come back to that okay. debate in a minute? Okay. I want to I want to listen to what the viewers have got to say here. Uh Don uh, a mini have hope with how much he interrupts is what Jay says. No, respect, here. Respect Don, <laughs> come on. Man. No, don't link me to, to HH. Don't do that. I love oh. HH. Uh all this BS about Arsenal challenging. Okay, we'll come back to that one in a minute. It's not relevant to this conversation right now. Uh so do you think? Think, uh, your coach has more pull than Liverpool's coach. That's a direct question see, to you, see, John. This, this is the thing, though. People, people are, are actually doing like selective hearing right now because I've bigged up Liverpool. Liverpool are a big club. Liverpool have yeah, all the pull in the I world. But like you said to Rory, answer mm. that one question. Answer this guy's super mm. chat. Who has the bigger pull, Klopp or Poch? Yeah, it'll probably be Klopp. It'll probably be Klopp. Klopp's elite. Klopp's the elite manager. Yeah, I hear that. Um, Liverpool, Chelsea. Be uh, be 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 bet be sorry be beta getting him. I don't know. Uh, go I can't go rest, go rest, go and rest uh, okay, right. Oh, uh, for 100 million. Mm. Uh, uh, you check for Brits. So go on. Uh, you might like hang on, it. Uh, exactly. Hang on. What's hang on. Hang on. Just wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. It's not loaded <laughs> for me yet. Hang on. Load. Load. <laughs> Load. It's not loading. <laughs> Hang on, what's being said here? Because <clears throat> everyone keeps writing Paul Joyce. I went onto his Twitter account, can't see nothing. Hang on. And oh, this is one minute ago. Uh, Fabrizio has said, understand. <laughs> Still bloody loading. Understand Brighton want to resolve the issue tonight. Brighton have been clear, selling to the highest bidder. Liverpool will challenge Chelsea and also send final proposals to Brighton. Official bids will be there. Players' position will be crucial. So Liverpool will bid. Listen, it's very on. Nonsense. It's bring it on. How bring it, it on? <laughs> Let's get some predictions. Let's get some predictions. If it's going to end tonight, Mo, who is signing Casado tonight? Liverpool or Chelsea? Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, then we'll go around. We'll go around. It just is it my or is it my turn? No, I, I yeah. forget Liverpool. Chelsea, man. Give it to Chelsea. I don't. If I see him at Liverpool, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to get hurt. I'm actually going <laughs> to be Don, hurt. You're, Don, you're obviously going to pick Chelsea, right? No, nah, no, nah, Liverpool are going to get him. Oh, of course, I'm going to pick Chelsea, Terry. Come on. <laughs> uh, Jermaine, bro, what are, you, what are you going with, G? I think Chelsea will get him, but I hope Liverpool get him. I hear that. Uh, Rory, who are you going with? If it happens tonight, it'll be Chelsea, for sure. 